New at 5 today, lawmakers delivering on a promise to address mental health care issues in our state. It comes after 11 Alive's investigative team exposed gaps in Georgia's system that have led to thousands of children being surrendered to state custody. That's right, 11 Alive's Doug Richards shows us how the bipartisan bill introduced today is the first in a series of steps to fix the issues. Last year, lawmakers passed a landmark mental health bill and then promised more legislation, which dropped today. What am I supposed to do? They can't find a bed. State Representative Todd Jones says he gets calls every week from Georgians who can't find mental health resources for desperately ill family members. Maria Manning's son, Jalen, who has severe autism, ended up in Grady's emergency room after a destructive rampage in her house. He completely ripped the banisters off. Jalen stayed in the ER for two months because there was no other treatment option, as described in an 11 Alive investigation. We know that people are served better in community-based settings, closer to their families, with more freedom. Democrat Mary Margaret Oliver teamed up with Jones and other lawmakers to begin what they hope will be a long-term solution, giving health care, law enforcement, and other government agencies shared information, and they hope federal money, to stop years of circuitous stopgaps. And constantly we see them basically going between health care, the jail or prison system, homelessness. And then you can almost take that triangle and just either go clockwise or counterclockwise. It could be a much needed step forward, says Elizabeth Apley, an advocate for the homeless and mentally ill. Uh, and what is happening now is we are housing these people in the most expensive and least effective way possible. Uh, we're housing them in prisons and jails and emergency rooms and hospitals but we're bringing them no closer to recovery, uh, to stability, to restoration to their community. The bill is more of a blueprint than it is a fix. Backers say it will require years of fine tuning if they can get it past this session. At the Capitol, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. Thank you so much, Doug, for that report. And this is actually a part of our ongoing investigative series about child abandonment called Keeping. You can find more information by going to 11alive.com keeping.